Good evening, and welcome to another one of my segments of A Verse Day Keeps Islam Away. Uh, today I would like to discuss the 99 names of Allah. Asma'allahu um, al-Husna. In Islam, God or Allah has been attributed 99 special holy names, or special names. They're attributive names. And the way they get these names is by going through the Qur'an and a lot of times instead of, ref instead of referring to Allah as Allah, he is referred to by some sort of adjective. Now, there's a lot more than 99 names in the, or 99 attributive names for Allah in the Qur'an. So they went around and picked what they considered to be the most important or the most essential 99 names. I'm just going to share with you a few of those names, uh, some of which include Al-Quddus. Uh, the most pure, the most holy, the most perfect. As-Salam, the peace, the blessing, the peaceful one. Uh, Ar-Rahman, which is the most gracious, the compassionate. And Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, or full of mercy. Now, there are some other names which, personally, I wouldn't be too proud of to, to admit as being some of the attributives of Allah. Nevertheless, these are 100% accepted by all sects of Islam. Such as Al Mudil, the giver of dishonor, and that could be found in uh, Al Quran, Surah number 3, verse 26. Al Mumit, the destroyer, the bringer of death, found in 57 2, 15 23, 7 158, and 3 156. Those were all the numbers of the Surah su and the verses. Um, third one I want to share is Al Muntaqim. The, the one who seeks revenge, the avenger. And that can be found in 44, 16, 43, 41, and 32, 22. The fourth one I'd like to, show, to share is Adar, the harmer, the one who brings harm. And that can be found in 6, 17. Now, regarding these 99, 99 names of Allah, um, <clears throat> it's, it's supposed, supposedly... Al-Mahdi, al 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 which is this guy who is being guided, whatever, um, alongside with, with Isa, with Jesus, he will reveal the 100th name of Allah. Um, however, there's a sect of Islam, or actually some, a lot of, even themselves, they might not even consider themselves Muslim, they have already found the 100th name of Allah, and those people, people are the Baha'i, and they think that al buha is the 100th name of Allah, which means the glory, the splendor. However, they're not accepted by Muslims, so they're still awaiting the 100th name. Now, I want to tell you that I am your Mahdi. I am going to share with you the 100th name of Allah, so that you may know Him and get closer to Him. Allah's 100th name is al makir Al-Makir appears in a few verses, but the one I want to talk to you about primarily is verse um, <clears throat> is Surah number 3, verse number 54. وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرَ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ Al-Makir means the sly one, the deceitful one. However, unfortunately, it is not translated as such into English. That means they were deceitful. And as was Allah, was deceitful. And Allah is the greatest of those who are sly and deceitful. That's how it should have been translated. Now, let's look at Yusuf Ali's translation. It says, And the unbelievers plotted and planned, and Allah too planned, and the best planner is Allah. Uh, Shakir's translation is, it's also about planning. Pictal's translation is, and they, the disbelievers, schemed, and Allah schemed, and Allah is the best of all the schemers. Now, Muhsin Khan's translation is, and the disbelievers plotted to kill, and Allah plotted too, and Allah is the best of those who plot. Well, you know what? None of those is actually even the definition. Like I said, it should be sly, um, <clears throat> deceitful. However, if you look, at, if you look, if you go to verse uh, 12, 31, you will see where actually it uses the same verb, uh, makara, or as an adjective, al makarun, and it's actually translated into English as, uh, it goes as, 
and when she heard of their sly talks. So in that verse where the word makara or makir is not even relating to Allah, it's translated properly as sly. However, when Allah is included, it's not translated as sly, it translates plotted, schemed. Now I wanted to use a dictionary um, and see what does makir mean from Arabic to English. Uh, some of the words I got using sakhar, you can go online for those of you who might disbelieve me, uh, Sakhar Online Dictionary, and put in marker. And some of the names that you get, some of the um, definitions you get is wicked, viperous, fox-like, evil, evil-minded, cunning, wolf, black-hearted, um, <clears throat> shrewd fellow, designing, scheming. Those were the last two definitions. Um, so again, they kind of skipped over the first seven or eight or nine you know, main meanings and went to scheming or designing. Uh, but also, for makir, a synonym of makir apparently is la'im. So Allah is la'im. Ma fi al min Allah. And, and some of the definitions of la'im are mean, vile, villain, vulgar, wicked, low, fallen, rabid. Um, <clears throat> and it just keeps going on and on and on. It's, essentially it's not really wonderful names. However, that is the 100th name of Allah and I wanted to share it with you. I want to say thank you for joining. You have a wonderful evening and that's all I have for today. Bye.